Hello, 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 hello. Tommy vs. Drainer on Stormkeep. This is a slightly old one. We may have some buggy uh, when we get a Vortex pulled out. Bear with if that happens, but yeah. Let's get going. Tommy, very good player with the next. Oh, the next is fixed. Cool. Very good player with the next. Oh, I should have put Tommy's sound pack back on. I usually record these with Tommy's sound pack. We use Tommy's sound pack for other things, so it's fine. Drainer, a uh, good friend of mine, played some duels with him yesterday. It was um, fun, very fun. And Tommy is a fantastically tactical player. Drainer, it's difficult to characterise Drainer. Drainer is one of the few people I think I've really, really struggled to characterise the way that he plays. But Tommy's much more uh, slower. You can see he's just get, get himself sorted before he's going to rush back in. No need, especially on Stormkeep. You know, you got the time. you got the time. Don't worry about it, especially when you're in the lead like that. He doesn't need to rush in. Realistically, if you rush in in that situation, you know, he only had about 50 health or so. Yeah, he had better weapons, but all it would take was be for Drainer to pick up one of the main weapons, a rocket, a grenade, or a vortex, and... The fight's pretty even, you know. All the weapons and barely any health versus st spawn stack with good weapons. I'd say that's pretty even between these two. But Tommy's definitely taken an early game lead. Drainer, not out of it. Still, you know, Tommy's not completely taken control. I don't think he's taken a mega armor yet. Oh, we don't have those stats. Old demos. Old demos. Nice shooting from Tommy here. Cracking shot. He's pulling an early lead, but I do expect these two to kind of go... Um, kind of go back and forth. Like, heavy control shifts, I think, is what we can expect. Like, right now, Tommy just can't get a shot in. Drain is maybe good. Uh, didn't, but could have got a kill with just the shotgun. Probably Drain in that situation in the last one needed to just run away. But, uh, yeah, I can... Definitely say that I think we're going to see some heavy control shifts between these two players. So it could come down to the wire just right at the end. It is something that does happen uh, between certain certain players. Ooh. Certain players, certain play styles, they just clash up and you end up having super big swings. It tends to happen, I, I find, with... Uh, f either f too fast and loose players who aren't caring about uh, about item timings or uh, it, mostly it's when people don't care about item timings. It's either too fast and loose players who just always don't care or it's between um, an item timing player who just can't get control because of a fast and loose player or two. The other one is just completely opposite. Two item timing players who are just timing each other's items, but it's who can actually get there first and battle first. And that's really not good for Tommy as he goes down. But he gets a nice respawn to be able to pick up his stuff. Continue where he left off. Dr oh, nice curved rocket. Oh, beautiful curved rockets. Two incredible curved rockets and then connecting with when... Uh, When, uh, with Drainer coming round through the side. Completely forgot Drainer's name there. Was looking around all for it and for some reason couldn't just look at the top of the screen. Lovely shot there from Tommy. He's taken a good lead but you can see that Drainer's, Drainer's still here. It's just Drainer... Um, in this demo, it's definitely a very old demo and I know Drainer has stopped doing this so much. It's, it's a trait that I have and it's something that I've worked very hard in the past to try and get rid of. It's it's just giving up frags. In these situations, you need to know when to get the hell out of dodge and just run away. And just but you're just giving up frags. And it's, uh, it's a serious issue because even if you're in the lead, if you take one hit and then give up a few frags, and you could suddenly find yourself at a deficit. Deficit. 
Coming up to the halfway mark though, so we should be alright to see a swing happen. And that's the way we'll see a swing, to be fair. We'll see Tommy just get a bit frustrated, maybe. And uh, this is if a swing happens. And just give up a few frags. You know, it's, it's very easy to control this kind of numbers. But there, there's, you know, Drainer, he's managed to get that armor. And Tommy's not been in there. And Drainer's genuinely got that armor. That's not a... That's not a just happened to be in the wrong place. That's a big hit for Tommy. Oh, nice rocketry there from Tommy. Now's where you just... Yeah, you're stuck, kind of stuck there with Drainer able to see where Tommy was coming from. It was difficult for Tommy to get out, but now's the point. Tommy just needs to get out of dodge. Just get out of there, you know. Forfeit that armor, go get the rocket... Maybe catch a bit of damage on the way out. It's difficult to see in the moment. Especially if you know when the item is up. That's one of the hardest things I found. I got better when I stopped timing items. Because I was giving up frags. Twice every 30 seconds. When I turned up to the item. With no weapons. No health. No armour. And. I would do. Maybe I'd get a rocket or a rail. So I'd do. You know. I'd do maybe 80 damage. I'd say 80 damage on average. But they're picking up 100 armor and 100 health each time I'm doing 80. You know? And I'm losing a frag each time. Beautiful shot there from Tommy. Lovely reaction times. Drain has pulled it back a little bit. Tommy's definitely on the back foot. And he's not. He's not pushing. But Tommy doesn't push. That's, that's the thing. He, he's playing sensibly, but he's. You can see he's still in. Like, he's still in for this fight, but he just misses it. Drainer just gets a shot and perfect running away. Just gets caught by the back end of it. Oh, that was unfortunate for Tommy. Just connected badly with those... Uh... Oh, nice shot. Connecting badly with those electros and managing to kill himself again. Yeah, those Electros which didn't do any damage to Drainer because he was just around the corner. One of those, like, uh, strange patterns where it can just land in the wrong place. And again, Drainer's getting lucky right to the end of this map. Like I said, we could see some swings. It seems to be a five-minute swing. We saw some competitiveness at the start. and Oh, that's a nice shot from Drainer coming around the corner there. Drainer up in the air. Nice shot from Tommy. Tommy is a master of using the uh, using the shotgun. Remembering that the shotgun exists and pulling it out when needed. And oh, he's doing it back. Oh god, please don't die in the bloody lava again. Okay, it's fine. <laughs> I think that comes from often people who play CTF. And definitely people who play uh, TDM as well. But I think mostly CTF. Because you can often do a lot of good by having... One random weapon that you found on the floor because someone died. And a shotgun. Uh, because you might just need to get back. You know, you might have died helping your flag carrier get halfway across. And then you need to respawn and get back to helping the flag carrier. And you can hit long range shots with the shotgun and it can put off someone's aim. And sometimes you can convince someone. I know it, it's happened to me myself. I've been... I've been uh, stood on top of a sniper tower, shooting down rockets, shooting down vortex, and someone's hit me with a shotgun shell. By the way, we're all tied up going a minute into the remainder. Uh, I didn't quite notice those that, that tying up frag, but yeah, Tommy's been on the back foot a little bit here. But yeah, if you've got, um, got that ability with the shotgun, you can really do something. Tommy's playing a ta tactical game now. I think he might be trying to force overtime. He's got the stack. He will want the necks. You know, Tommy doesn't trust his necks, but he does have an incredibly good necks. We'll be waiting for the items to come up. He doesn't want to push in into where Drainer is, but this map, something that good players of this map know how to pick up items. A oh, beautiful shot there from Tommy. Is Drainer going to connect? Drainer has incredible aim sometimes, but sometimes, like, it's very... 
very difficult to know when Drain is going to have incredible aim. Yeah, so just in those fives with the five armors and the 25 armor there, there is more armor than uh, than the Mega. And we are into an overtime here. But yeah, if you pick up all this stuff, you can get more than a Mega in terms of, uh, in terms of armor stack, which is quite incredible. Just by running around and scooping these little little beans up. But it does mean that the lack of the 50 armor is not necessarily a major thing. But you can be denied these, because of course you can pick that up when you're overstacked. Uh, that 25 you can't, but these little 5s you can. So you could pick up the mega and you could get uh, mega armor and all of those and end up about 200. Mega armor must be coming up now because Tommy wants it. But Drainer's going to go over there. He's going to not quite get up into the next room. Tommy's going to try and defend. This warp zone is one of the most incredible things in this map. I haven't seen much footage of this map before the warp zone was added. I'm not sure if this actually did. Final Rage definitely had a version where the warp zone wasn't there. But honestly, I don't think this map would work in uh, if it didn't have the warp zone. One minute remaining. Tommy's managed to pick up that frag off the back of losing both the Mega Armors. Or he did get the Mega Armor, but he didn't get the Mega Health. It was very tight to get in the Mega Armor as well. And he did take a fair bit of damage. Drainer's rushing in. Drainer's making that mad push because Drainer has to. Drainer has to get this frag, but he's got to be low right now. And Tommy's... Playing it carefully, that incredible, again, that warp zone. Love these things that we have in Xenotic, these specific things that don't necessarily exist in other games. Great shot there from Tommy. Connects with just what he needs. Because the thing is, what Tommy needs isn't necessarily the frag. The frag will guarantee it, you know, he's not going to come down from 2 with 10 seconds left. But just keeping Drainer so that Drainer can't push really hard and there's a frag with five seconds to go that ggs it up absolutely incredible play from tommy going into that overtime he controlled the map at the start he managed to lose it a little bit through the middle through some fantastic play from drainer but then when drainer was pushed to it having to make up that uh, that frag difference you know drainer had the complete control but when he had to make up that frag difference he couldn't maintain control tommy maintained just enough control used those small items those fives those little bubbles of health managed to pull it back incredible play from tommy congratulations really well played from drainer great comeback not quite managing to get it there in the end but Great play from these guys, and most of the things that I was saying, that the, the mistakes they were making, I know these two. Since this demo from uh, from 20, the uh, December of 2020, so it's over two years old, this demo, I know they've both improved on exactly the things that you know we said were the mistakes, the losing of control. But I can only imagine that the games between them now are still just as close. Thank you very much for watching. Send me demos. I'll see you in the next one.